All right, hello, and welcome back to part 10. Vine Crow plays Demon Souls. Time to take on the Bell Gargoyles again. I have not looked up any strategies for this fight, as I will not do for any fight unless I am truly and genuinely completely stuck. So, let's try this again, figure out how this fight's supposed to work. There don't seem to be any places where I can kill these guys in two hits with plunging attacks, so that's something. Come on, dude. He's about to get to 50%, which will bring in his buddy. Ooh, his buddy's actually already here. Crap. Okay, so here is where I need to figure out what's going on. Okay, fire. At least this, his buddy doesn't come in at full and complete and total health. Whoops. You need to get the Estus Flask equipped. Oh, I'm gonna take damage! I gotta move. Shoot, I'm stuck. Yeah. I got... I got, uh... I did not have my Estus Flask ready, and that ended up killing me there. All right, all right, all right, all right. So I started this episode out with me running back. It's gonna be me running back again, I'm afraid. See you soon. All right, I'm back. Estus Flask has been drunk to return me to full health. There are my souls over there. Whoa. Whoa, whoa, double. This is bad. It's difficult to block those kind of attacks without the lock on, but I need to learn. I need to learn to angle myself at the appropriate time. I'm trying to... I'm actually trying to hit his tail, see if I can get another one of those axes, just cause. Okay. I wonder if that lowers his abilities in any way. Makes him easier in any... I mean, yeah, he can't hit you with his tail anymore. So that's something. Keep beating the shit out of him. Here comes his buddy. He's gonna start breathing fire. Oh, he doesn't have a tail either. That's interesting. Okay, this guy is actually almost down. So I just need to hold steady. He's breathing fire, but I'm not gonna get hit by it. Okay, I just got hit by it. Okay, he's breathing fire. Drinking Estus Flask. They're both breathing fire. Whoa. Okay, this is good that they keep staying spread apart. Shoot. Whoa! Might as well pick up these souls. Flask, hopefully I won't get hit. I should be okay. Come on, let me get some hits in on this guy. Shoot! Gotta back out. No! I only got one charge of Estus last left. Okay, he's breathing fire. Oh no. Got too close. He's breathing fire again. When they stay on top of each other like that, it's tough to get any hits in. So let me back up. He's breathing fire again. Come on, stop backing up. No! 
I'm dead. I gotta learn to avoid using the lock on because the lock on didn't allow me to dodge exactly as I needed to. So silence again and speeding up it's going to be. I'm back. Managed to deal with that section without taking too much damage. So I definitely want to remove their tails. Whoa. Oh, his tail's gone already. Removing the tail means one last, last thing that they can hit me with. So that's very good. Come on, dude. Whoa, no, come on! What was I thinking being on the edge like that? All right. Running back. Here we go again. Gargoyles, take five or so. No more stupidity by getting on the edge of the level. Come on, cover the lost power, dude. First thing that needs to happen is he needs to lose his tail. When he flies up like that, it's probably good to lock on because it's hard to see exactly what angle he's at. All right. What's better, a three, a three strike or a big heavy attack? Oh shit! Okay, there's the other gargoyle. He's coming. Oh no! They're both breathing fire. I tried to get around the side, but it turns out that the other one was breathing as well. So. Let's try it again. All right, I am now back at the fog door. Fortunately, I did die once, and I did take some damage this time. Let's try this again. Whoa, lost track of him. All right, when he flies up, I gotta lock on. Otherwise I risk getting hit. Yep, have a bad day, sucker. I need to get away from the edge. Come on, stop hopping around like a fool. No, I dodged. I'm gonna die already here. Basically need to do this now. Gotta move. Whoa. Whoa, I got lucky to not be hit there. It's hard to get in close when they just stand on top of each other while one breathes fire. That makes it a non-safe zone. I don't even know what just happened there. Okay. 
run. I don't know, maybe... I mean, it seems like... I'm trying to come up with some kind of pattern for their movements, but I can't... I can't suss it. I can't suss it out. Stupid bell gargoyles. Ooh, he's... He can fly up and breathe fire? I didn't see that before. Okay, he's breathing. Whoa, I'm near the edge. I'm near the edge. I'm near the edge. These guys are just continually breathing. I'm gonna get hit here. Because he takes so long to drink. They just provide cover for each other with the fire. Oh, see? I'm out of Estus, so this is probably not going to end well. Maybe I can shoot him with a crossbow. I can't even tell if that's doing damage. Oh no, I don't want to be here. I'm dead. Maybe if they use the fire, maybe like once every eight seconds instead of constantly, either one of the, one or the other, using them, providing complete coverage in terms of their ally, maybe it would be a bit easier. But as it stands, I'm just trying to figure out when there's an opening and... I don't know. I remember in the fight in Demon Souls with two gargoyles. Basically, you had to power down one gargoyle before the other one came into play. Otherwise, it was just ridiculously difficult. And that seems like what the case is here as well. Shit. I can't get past him. I cannot get past him. I am blocked in. Okay. So here is where I am likely to take some damage. Lots of damage. And I'm gonna die, actually. I'm not dead yet, but... It is gonna require... Multiple Estus Flasks to heal this damage back up. Which is not great, considering the difficulty of the fight that lies ahead. Okay. Let's try this again. Need to take this time to Estus. You bastard. Shit. Get near the edge. I don't want to do that. This guy's enough of a pain in the ass just on his own. And then there's the ever present danger of falling to your death. Having a tough time getting in some damage on this guy this time. Okay, the other gargoyle's here. He's burning up. No! What? That was a very terrible attempt. I will be back after speeding this up. Okay, here we are. I don't need to use any Estus Flasks. Took minimal damage on the run back. So let's try this shit again. 
Ah, get away from the edge, dude. Really? Lose the tail. Buddy will be coming in any moment. There he is. There he's setting off with some fire. There was one time I were, the good the one really good attempt I had, I got in so much damage on one of the gargoyles. But now I'm not gonna get the chance to do that. Unless these guys split up, but they don't they don't want to split up. They want to just sit on top of each other, provide non-stop fire coverage. See, look at that. He's completely engulfed in fire. They're both standing on each other, just constantly swinging. You get away from the edge. May as well Estus here. Once I get a shot... Run. What? Luckily, I didn't get hit by that strike. I don't need to get boxed in here. Great, I finally get what I think is an opening for some attacks, and I miss. I don't... I'm afraid to remove the lock-on because then I'll lose track of what's going on here. Okay, that was close. Whoa, whoa, that was even closer. Shoot. Not dead yet, but it's getting there. I can't... Oh, my... I can't get a free moment to get some attacks in. And that is what makes it very frustrating. So, here we go again. Okay, here we go. Another attempt on the... Bell Gargoyles. Managed to get through that initial area without taking any damage. That's a first. It's double swing. He's swinging. I tried to block it, but I failed. What? I was blocking. And I was in the correct direction, too. Shit gonna hop around for all day. Gotta use Nessus already. This is really bad. Come on, let me get your tail. Stop hopping! Stop going to the edge of the level, too. Get more damage in. This is my chance to really bring the pain. Oh, he's blowing fire. No. Okay. 
So here we go again. Whoa. That was a really good time to get in some hits, but I failed to get in any hits. Ah. Staggered me. Nope. Look, if you hit him enough times, he'll he'll be staggered. Breathing fire, which means I need to run. I would like to be able to continue hitting that guy, but unfortunately, I need to run. Now they're just gonna be on top of each other all day, probably. They're both breathing fire at the same time. I'm taking big damage. This is ridiculous. How am I going to isolate them? I mean, I... Okay. They just won't separate. See, I try to get some hits in on them when he's vulnerable because he's doing the fire, but... But then the other guy just smacks on me. This is craziness. Oh, as soon as I go in to get a f shot off, he leaps into the air. It's just crazy. Okay. Oh my god, it keeps happening. Every time I go to get a hit in, boom, they leap out the way. So I've done... I've done probably, in the past minute, one single point of damp, one single hit on these guys. You did it. I don't know fucking how. Look at this shit. It's not like the fire is just a tiny little area. It's a, it's a huge arc. Look, I, as soon as I get a chance to do some damage, I only get one hit in because he just leaps backwards. Okay, here's a chance. No, stop leaping backwards. Hit by the fire. And dead. Here we go, back to the bell gargoyles. Don't know how many attempts it's been so far. But I gotta keep trying. Going for the tail as usual. It's just... The opportunities to get some attacks in on these guys are just so limited. Because they're providing coverage for each other most of the time. Come on. Shit. And then when they when you do get a chance to get some damage in, the, the bastards go and uh, do a back step real quick. See, like that, just back step, back step. I thought I had blocked that. Apparently not. I need to run immediately. If I get hit by one thing, I'm dead. Okay, I'm probably gonna get hit, but hey. What are you gonna do? They got a huge they got huge pole axes. They have a large attack radius. It's simple as that. One guy is right behind me. Oh, they're both right behind me.
All right, I'm back in action. As you could see there, well, maybe you couldn't see because I got sped up so much, but I died because I got hit by a backstab. So let's try this again. Just keep hitting the tail. Shit, these guys. I think a gargoyle would be slower than this. God, I don't have enough stamina. I gotta run. Gotta run. Shit. Estus. No, they jumped! All right, here we go. There's probably some... some strategy that I'm not aware of here. Because it doesn't seem like this is... It doesn't seem like this is a legit fight. Why do I keep getting hit when I'm blocking? This fight is not legitimate. It's just too much to be able to deal with all that shit that they throw at you. And here I am about to fucking get my ass kicked again already. Come on, these guys are so quick. Awesome. Sweet. Hopefully the fire won't reach me here. I don't know, I'm in a bad spot though. Yep. Alright, so I will do one more attempt on this. This has been the episode of me dying repeatedly. I've been fighting these... Repeatedly fighting these bosses for the past 45 minutes real time. And I just can't come up with any other ideas for how to defeat these guys. I don't have any items that would help. Fire bombs. I mean, they they f use fire. I doubt that's gonna help. I mean, maybe some throwing knives might help. Luring skull is not gonna work against bosses. Copper coin is absolute shit. Hmm. I can't use the Gargoyle Tail Axe until I level up Strength. Besides, the amount of damage I'm doing is not the problem. The problem is I just can't even get any hits in. And yeah, Leather Armor does have some decent Poison Resist, I guess. It's not amazing, but it's something. Actually, it doesn't seem that amazing at all. There was one level in Demon Souls. It was World... Five, I believe, where I think five two, world five, stage two, you needed to have leather equipped, otherwise you would take huge amounts of poison damage just from traversing the level because it was a swamp and the the swamp was apparently poisonous or something. Alright, this is this is really bad. This guy's blocking my way now. I'm dead. 
So I'm gonna speed up the next attempt to get through here. And see you on the bell the bell gargoyle fight. Alright, so the final attempt on the Bell Gargoyles of this episode is about to commence. I took a really bad shot in the back on the run over to here. But, uh, let's see if I can make something good happen on this attempt. Heal. Before his companion arrives. Ah, oh, this jumping around, man. Oh. Oh, he's almost dead. No! Get up! Remove that lock on. Fortunately, I missed my chance to kill him, I think. Because now they're just gonna continue comboing for the rest of the goddamn fight. Getting comboed. Got comboed. Alright, so that's gonna be the end of this part. Don't know how I'm going to go about the bell gargoyles. I might just, I might just do some attempts off camera, and well, I'll be on camera, and then I'll just show the attempt where I actually managed to kill it. Or maybe I need to look up a strategy because I spent an entire part failing to kill the bell gargoyles. So I don't know. We'll see. But that's going to conclude part 10 of my Demon's, I mean Dark Souls playthrough. Catch me in the next part, where hopefully I'll have a Bell Gargoyle kill to show you. Goodbye.